because I just want people to understand that your privacy is not just about your device and the Internet of Things and everything. It can also be about how your home is used as a surveillance device with the electricity in the walls. Mm -hmm. And uh, and this is this article I'm sharing here is uh, can you see that, Nick? Yep. OK, this is right off the Microsoft website. OK, <clears throat> and they were using utilizing this technology that uses 60 hertz electric fields from anything plugged in to your to your walls, but also from the wiring itself. And because your body is conductive, you're able they're able to have a device that's connected by just being plugged in or connected to the grid somewhere. They can <laughs> they can actually create an image on the screen of what your body looks like just from the electric fields being like uh, receptor antennas in the walls because you're surrounded by the wiring uh, on the walls, the ceiling, the floor. Plus, if there's anything plugged in like a lamp or something that extends into the room and they're able to more accurately detect uh, like where your body is and what kind of gestures you're making and things like that. I had so, no idea. I'm very surprised. Yes. I, I knew they could do that with Wi-Fi because I saw the military technologies, but I did not know that just with electric fields, they can see your movements, which means, I mean, some people don't really think about how this could be used against you, but literally people could know, I mean, up to your sexual habits with this info in your bedroom, you know, and I don't know, put it against you in one way or another if they want, or, you know, it can be very invasive. Just that, just that fact, which is to me very creepy. Yeah. <laughs> and so <clears throat> it's, it's a, they even have a video of it. If you look on YouTube for Microsoft human Tenna, there's wow. a, there's a video that shows like the technology in, in use. And this is all the way back from 2012. And so they were using this technology as a way to like, okay, what kind of gaming system could we use where we don't need to, where we can use your body as a remote. Yeah. So this was one of the technologies that they were exploring. I think with the Xbox connect, they ended up going with like infrared or something like that. Um, but they were exploring the use of actual 60 Hertz electric fields in the walls as a way to, to create an image on the screen of where your body's at. And it worked just fine. They just decided that maybe we should keep this technology for something else or like it would be <laughs> a, somebody might think that's a little creepy. They can detect your movements in the wall. I think, you know, like just by having this technology plugged in. So they went with the idea that, okay, we'll just put an emitter, an infrared emitter in front of the screen and then that'll blast out. And then when that's off, people don't have to be concerned about somebody spying on them with that. Yeah. So, um, but this technology does exist. It's out there and, you know, it actually provides a whole other reason to shield your, your rooms in your house. Cause if all of your walls are grounded, you don't have any electric fields coming out from there to detect what's going on inside of the room. And so like, when you shield fully shield a room, this technology will not work unless you plug in a lamp that's not shielded and then it, it will work again. So if you have, if you're actually concerned about your health and electric fields and you have a fully shielded room and shielded products like shielded lamps, shielded cables, then you're actually blocking this technology and protecting your privacy from this type of technology as well. So, so that's something to to be thinking about if you're concerned about privacy uh, shielding yourself from electric fields is all about privacy just as much as it is about your health as well so um i thought you know that's that's something that's super interesting like with all this data collection this could be another point where future technology goes is like okay we're not only tracking where people are going with these wireless devices and with like these millimeter waves tracking people and counting people, which that technology exists, like people counters with the millimeter waves, but we're also able to anywhere where there's electric fields, we can detect when there's a conductive object moving through that space. And since your body's conductive, it can detect like, like where you're at in that space with that type of technology. 
Hey, this is Nick, the EMF guy, you know, I am the co-creator of the EMF circle, along with my colleague, Brian Hoyer from Shielded Healing. What you saw today, this short video is a preview of the longer interview that we did for our circle members. Every month we have a masterclass like one of these or a Q and A session with me and Brian most of the time. So you get personal support and attention on your EMF reduction reduction journey. So if you want to reduce EMF because you are personally sensitive or you're just trying to take precautionary measures to better your health and minimize the risk associated with wireless and other types of EMFs, then the EMF circle is the place to be. We have a ton of archives now. We have several months worth of Q&As that you can listen back to. Everything is pre -record is recorded. You can either join live or just listen to the replay. So we have a Cars Master class. We have a pr free protection masterclass uh, uh, also that we did, and we're going to have several other masterclasses moving forward. So we hope that you join us inside the EMF circle. Just visit emfcircle.com or click the link under the video to join us. I hope to see you then.